Let's understand what is data recording and organizing, with an example. Sia is planning for a picnic with her friends. Let's plan for a picnic this Sunday in my backyard. We will have delicious snacks also? Yes, of course. I want a pizza and french fries. I will have a pizza only. I also want a pizza and french fries. I want a burger only. I want a burger and french fries. I can't remember all these. Let me note it down. As we saw, Sia has listed out the food preference as per everyone's choice. Getting data from different sources is called recording data. I still can't find how many pizzas, burgers, and french fries we need for the picnic. Let me help you Sia. Let's make a list of foods and draw a line for each count. We start with you. You want a burger and french fries, right? Let's draw one line for the burger and one line for french fries. Since Mala wants one pizza and one french fries, we will draw one line for a pizza and one line for french fries. Similarly, I want only one burger, so I will draw one line for one burger. Let's repeat this activity with Sid, Sahil, and Samir. Now, you can count the number of lines and easily find out the number of burgers, french fries, and pizzas required for the picnic. Yes, this is so easy and quick. This method is called tally chart and these marks are called tally marks. Isn't it a little difficult to count, if we have more lines? What if we make any mistake in counting? For that, Every fifth line is drawn across the previous four lines. It will make counting easy and convenient. Now, it's easy to count big numbers like 15 or 18. Yes. Let's go for a picnic now. Here, Sia and Sarah has arranged the data using tally marks, in such a way, that they can get useful information. This is called organizing data.